Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is a new day. Yeah. <laughs> so today I'm gonna be showing you the new Tarte collection. It's a unicorn collection, and that's why I put my unicorn vest. You see my unicorn right there? And my unicorn cupcake and my unicorn water. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. And my unicorn bracelet. I'm obsessed with this bracelet. Oh, that um, Tart was coming up with this collection. I was so excited, but at the same time, I want to do this video to kind of see if it's not just the packaging you're gonna buy it for, but also for the quality of the brushes and the eyeshadows and see if it has a good pigmentation, if it works, if it doesn't work. So, first, I'm gonna show you the packaging. This is the palette. Oh my god, that's May Believe in Yourself Eye and Cheek Palette. I believe in myself a lot so yes that's why I like this phrase like I, I believe I'm, oh my god I have it so bad so bad but yeah uh, when you open it it has the same um, shape as the other Tarte palettes I personally own a couple of those so it's the same thing it has the mirror over there and then you have the color wheel and in the middle you have the highlighter so this is how it looks like. Let me get right there. It has some shimmer. Most of the eyeshadows are shimmering, and you have mattes too. So you can still um, create got the Tarte High Performing Naturals Magic One Brush Set, and this one comes with five um, brushes. And since I'm, you know. Me. I'm Joanne. So I forgot to use the ones for the eyes while I was doing this. I look, but I use they this one. So beautiful, and the fact that this one retails for thirty nine dollars on Sephora and also on TarteCosmetics.com, I think this is an amazing deal. These are super, super soft, and if you know, if you know about brushes, like you will know that normally a powder brush retails between 15 to 25 dollars by themselves so the fact that you can have five brushes for 39 dollars for me that's a deal you also have your contour uh, brush just to clean up the lines but these are very versatile like I said I use this one for my blush and I can, you can use it to tap your under eye so it's up to you but you also have your large blender brush and you have your tapper blender brush so you have literally everything you need just to start so if you're looking for brushes this is an amazing set just to start with and if you would like to see more videos like this don't forget to like this video give me a thumbs up let me know what you think about this collection if you're gonna order if you're not if you already have it if you just don't like it um but yeah let's get started to create this look and thank you so much for watching and i love you guys see you on my next video bye okay so i already primed my face i have my foundation on um yeah this is about it i did my eyebrows and already finished one eye I have so much fun creating this look so I hope you guys like it I hope you can try and let me know what do you think about this new collection and let's get started okay so I already primed my eye I use my concealer from Kevin D in the shade light this is a tattoo concealer and I set with a little bit of setting powder on the top just to create that flawless canvas face for my eye and I got you guys a little bit more closer so let's get started so first I'm gonna be using my Sigma Tapper blending brush this is the E35 and from my Tarte it's so beautiful I'm gonna be using the color Myth and I'm gonna use this as my transition color this is a very matte um, color so I'm just gonna apply all over my eye Now that we have the transition color, now I'm gonna go to the shade Dream. This 
right here and I'm gonna be using my Sigma E45 it has like a this little peak on it and I'm gonna just to create a little crease line in the top just following my natural crease line so we're gonna start over here just gonna get a little bit over there and then we're just gonna build once we get the line the precision line that we want then we can build the color in there like that so now we're just gonna build the color because these are very um shimmering colors so you're gonna have to build uh until like you feel like it's the right color or you can use um max fix max fix is really good because um these are shimmering eyeshadows so it will help them to bright up and also to um get more shine more bright more shine more bright so yeah okay so now that we have a little bit of line now we're gonna start using um the color in the lid and for that i'm gonna be using my e20 and I'm gonna get the color Mystic, which is right next to Dream. I'm gonna get a little bit of this, and I'm gonna apply this just on my inner corner. Right there. Now I'm just gonna apply a little bit more. Now to bright up the color a little bit more, I'm going to be using my um, setting spray. I'm going to get first the eyeshadow on my brush and I'm going to spray it. And then I'm going to apply the eyeshadow on my eyelid. So now like you guys can see, that's going to bright up the eyeshadow a little bit more. And I'm going to get this color all the way to the center of my lid. And don't worry if it gets a little messy. Working with shimmers is, is more harder than working with matte colors. But um, you just had to keep blending. And the first thing you got to do is placing the colors. And then you will blend at the end. So any anything that you see too much or whatever right now, it doesn't matter because you are gonna blend that in okay so now i'm gonna be using another brush and i'm gonna be using the color fairy which is this beautiful purple so what i'm gonna do is gonna use this one over here and i'm gonna do the exact same thing that i did with the color mystic and this fairy color is so so beautiful like it just is the perfect purple shimmer and I'm just gonna apply it from the center of my lid to the outside like that following that um, blue line that we created in the beginning like that and I'm just gonna pack that color in and I'm gonna be using more of my effects um, this is not my math face. This is my Infallible Pro Spray and Set. This is from L'Oreal Paris, Paris. And this is way better um, than any other setting spray that I have tried. So if you don't have the Max Fix, this can work just fine. So now I'm gonna bring this color a little bit more in just to blend it with my first color. And I'm gonna put a little bit in the top of this to just like get those two colors together. Ooh. Okay, now that we have those colors in, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a small brush. This is the inner corner, this is the E46, but I'm gonna be using this as my eyeliner. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go back to the dream color, this blue one over here, the one that we create at the beginning. And now that we have placed the other colors, 
I'm gonna go back and get a little bit more uh, pigmentation with my spray and I'm gonna go over the first line so this is gonna bring a little bit more into the color and more definition of what we're doing right now like now you're gonna start seeing the line that I'm talking about That's the good thing about shimmers, you always can go back and build in. So, but what I want to do first was just like create the line that I can be able to see to place the two colors in my eyelid. But now for definition of the whole look, I'm going to go back uh, with a little bit of setting spray to create that um, cut crease effect. And then you're going to be able to see it like that mm -hmm. okay now for my eyebrow bone I'm gonna be using the shade in the middle this big pan up here has a little bit of shimmering so that's just perfect and I'm gonna apply using a small brush and I'm just gonna apply on my eyebrow bone if I put if anything if you guys put this color too low which is normally what I do sometimes then I will go back with the first color brush that I use and I will get my E35 again and then a um, little bit there just like that you see so then you can blend these two colors together so don't worry about it it's easy fix like that now for my under lashes I'm gonna be using a small brush and this is the E65 and I'm gonna get the shape Myth and I'm gonna apply that all over my under lashes first just the whole way because for your under lashes you also need like a transition color so that's what this color is gonna do just like that let's see it let me see Okay, now that we got that color in, then I'm going to go in with the color Marvel, which is this kind of green, gold-ish uh, type of color. And I'm just going to apply that one on the center of my inner corner. This is going to bright up the look. And I'm going to take it all the way to the middle or part of my eye. Now from the same palette, I'm going to get the color Magic, which is this dark brown uh, shade. And with, using the same liner, I'm going to put it in the outside of my eye. This is going to create more deepness uh, in my eye and more dimension. So yeah. And then I'm going to try to bring it a little bit to the middle just so the, those two colors blend. Right there, that's the same thing I did with the other one. I feel like a little bit here so this two will blend like that. And also, I'm going to be putting a little bit more on my inner corner, the same color marble. Just to bright up this one a little bit more. And since this look is about unicorn, I'm obsessed with glitter and those kind of stuff. So I'm going to be using my Makeup Forever. And this is, let me tell you, this is a glitter number three. It's a very um, uh, monochromatic uh, glitter. So I'm going to be using a small synthetic brush. If right here okay so this is a small synthetic brush and I'm gonna spray a little bit with my setting spray I'm gonna dip into my glitter and I'm gonna apply the glitter a little bit in my inner corner just a little bit not too much not too crazy like that because I think like a little bit of the glitter this glitter is not like a, it doesn't have like a real color it's just with the light it has like a special effect so that's what we're trying to create 
pieces, a little bit in the top. And now I'm gonna be doing my eyeliner and I'm gonna put my fake lashes off camera. I'll be right back. Okay, so now my eyes are almost ready. I feel like they're ready, but I still need some stuff. Um, but before that, I'm gonna be using these brushes. I don't know why I didn't use the eye brushes to my eyes, you know, but I'm gonna be using these two. I'm gonna make this work for my bronzer, even though it's like, it's a powder brush, you know, but normally it's shaped like this. I use it more for my blush, but I think it will work. And I'll use this one for my brush, so, for my blush. That brush for my blush. Okay, so first I'm gonna be using my Too Faced. This is the Chocolate Soleil. And this is light medium matte bronze. This is a deluxe sample, but I already ordered one. And I'm in love with this one. I feel like it goes good with my skin tone, so it just works. I also have the deep one, but I feel like that one is too deep for me. But I'm gonna be using today because I wanna look a little bit more bronze. These brushes are super, super soft. So I think like the price for these brushes are insane because $39 for five brushes it's an amazing deal. Like if you into brushes you will know that's an awesome deal because brushes normally um, range from $15 to $50 by themselves, especially like the big powder brush. I feel like those are the most expensive ones. So if you are looking for brushes, this is a way better option to start with. It's not expensive and it's super soft and I love it. So I totally recommend it. And you see, it blends amazing. So that's pretty contour. I'm gonna put a little bit of over here. And it's a little bigger, but we'll make it work. Okay, so now I'm gonna be using the other one. This is more for contour or like to put something under your eyes. You know, these are very versatile um, type of brushes. So whatever you use it for, you're good to go. Whatever it works for you, it's okay. Do you. So I'm gonna use the Lara Geller. This is the Blush and Brighten Peach Nectar. This is a big blush. And I'm just gonna apply it on my cheeks. Smile. Mm -hmm. The smile like you wanna get more makeup next month. Like your makeup's coming. Yes, right there. Okay, so also I'm gonna be using my favorite from Lara Geller. This is Baby Kate. Um, this is the Big Blush Palette. This one has a little bit more of a highlighting if you wanna know what's the difference between that one and the other one. And I'm just gonna apply over my blush because you can never have enough blush. So, yep. That here and there. Now for my lips, I'm gonna be using one of my favorites so far right now. I literally use this lip liner every single day that I go to work. So this is the Exaggerate from Rimmel London. I swear to you. And this is in the shade 63. This is a really pinky snob color. So I'm gonna apply this all over my lips. We have the lip liner in. I'm gonna be using my Sigma, and this is the Lip Bex Lip Gloss, and this is in the color Chill Out. And I'm gonna apply this all over my lips. Okay, now that we have the face together. 
I'm gonna set up my face using my favorite. This is the Max Prep and Prime from MAC. And I'm just gonna set my whole makeup in. I do this always before my highlighter. So I'm gonna do it with my highlighter after this. And now, signs I'm a little extra, I'm gonna be using my unicorn fan to set this in. <laughs> I swear, I, too much, I'm too much. But anyways, did you see that? Isn't that cute? It's beautiful. I'm obsessed, obsessed with unicorns, so. That and Hello Kitty. So I'm in the right country right now because Japan is all about Hello Kitty, so. so awesome. Now I'm gonna highlight my face. I'm gonna be using one of my favorites. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills That Glow Kit. And I'm gonna just mix all of them. Mix up all of them. 